Venice is one of the most beautiful and romantic cities in the world, just like a postcard with scenes undoubtedly were make believe. But once you arrive to the floating city, you'll understand the uniqueness of this beautiful treasure of a magical city known as Venezia. This is the public transportation line. I don't really know where it's going to take us, how it's going to get there, or anything like that. But I think that's the beauty of traveling. It's just full of surprises. Upon arrival to Venice's airport, you'll have to either take a water taxi to town or the ferry. We opt for the ferry since all the water taxis were booked online and I wasn't quite ready to get ripped off just yet. And anyway, the scenic route would be perfect for our first glimpse of the city. Once we got to our hotel, it was still quite early so the room wasn't ready yet, but that gave us a chance to have a look around the beautiful property and enjoy a refreshing drink on the waterfront. We stayed at the Centurion Palace, which is an amazing, amazing hotel, and it's centrally located as you enter the Grand Canal. Hi guys! We made it to Venice and it is so pretty. If you ever thought about being a photographer, you should come here. Because you don't even need any photography skills. All you have to do is hold up your camera, click it, and you're good. It's gorgeous and it feels so good. Luckily we came before it got too hot. After getting settled into our room, we washed up and headed out to town. I was ready to play tourist and was on a mission to stuff myself with gelato until I got sick. With a full stomach, we had enough energy to explore the city a little more. There were so many hidden canals with gondolas rowing through them and you can hear the Italian music breezing through the air. It was like a movie and such a cool scene to see how many people use the waters to get around the city. I now knew why they called Venice the floating city and it was unlike anything I've ever seen before. In the next few scenes, you'll be able to hear how lively the music is and the gondolier serenading through the Venetian lagoon. It was a pretty extraordinary experience and definitely very romantic too. Hi guys, it's absolutely just beautiful out here. This is the hotel and then outside is the cafe area and it has the most beautiful view of the canal. Right now we're waiting to take the water taxi over to the square and just walk around. It's just so gorgeous here. There's not a bad scene. <laughs> It was so incredible to ride along the Grand Canal enjoying the breathtaking views of the city at dusk. I'd say it was romance at its finest. The lovely European architecture lining the waters so perfectly and elegantly. You can feel the breeze running through your hair and the crisp of the water in the air. It was a beautiful and magical moment, something I'll always remember. We're here at the square! We strolled through the city and saw how lively the night scene was. I'm not sure if we happened to be out on a special evening, but there were live little orchestras playing music for dinner patrons to enjoy their meal. Fancy stuff!
Hunger was starting to kick in, so we found a quaint little restaurant and had a delicious Italian meal of fresh seafood pasta and a zesty citrus octopus salad. Our appetite was satisfied with a gelato to finish off, and we headed back to the hotel for the remainder of the night. Good morning, guys. So something crazy happened to me last night. I missed this step. See this? This is a step. I missed it. And then I try to save myself by touching my luggage, which is now here. And then I ended on the floor right here. And I have bruises. It wasn't very pleasant. Who even has a step right where the bed is? I'm gonna go eat breakfast right now. <laughs> but don't leave your food unattended because the seagulls are going to come and steal them. There is no better way to start the day than with a delicious meal right on the water overlooking the Grand Canal. The weather was perfect and it was definitely breakfast with a view and the best seats in the house. The food was so amazing, so fresh, and the service was superb. While eating, you can watch the boats go by and see how Venetians start their day. out for you. So this is bread and I put Nutella and strawberries on here. I've got two cappuccinos going on because I like a lot of drinks. Plus pineapple juice. This is so freaking good. Bon appetit! Heaven. Hi guys, so we just finished breakfast and now we're starting the day. We're gonna explore Venice a little bit more. There's tons of alleys here. I thought it would be a lot more scarier actually, to be honest with you. There's something about alleys that just kind of freaks me out, but here it just, it's not that scary. There's lots of people here, it's very lively, but I'm sure at nighttime it does get a little bit sketchy. Anyway, so rude, I'm filming. Day two in the city and we were back to playing tourists. Today's agenda consisted of the best Italian lunch ever, roaming around the town square searching for the most picturesque scenes in all of Venice and hunting down locations to get the nicest gondola later at sunset. Ciao Bella! Today, I think we're gonna go on the gondola ride. I'm very, very excited about that. Gondola, eat pizza, and the gelato. Oh my god, the gelato is amazing. Amazing! I'm not a huge fan of gelato, but yeah. I understand why people love it now. It's so freaking good here. It doesn't get any better than this. When people are staring at me, they're wondering why I'm talking to a camera, but I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> Since we started the day so early, we went back to the hotel and took a nap, which is pretty normal in Italy. Most people take a siesta break and you'll find a lot of stores to be closed and the town somewhat quiet during midday. We headed to the historical St. Mark Square, which is the city center, and was almost immediately greeted by tons of pigeons. To be honest with you, it was quite uncomfortable to see so many birds in one little area, but I had to get in there and experience this iconic and tradition of Venice. And so I went into the feeding cage. <laughs> In the square, you won't be able to miss the most grand and famous church in all of Venice, St. Mark's Basilica. Its opulent design and gold mosaic just glistens against the sun and you'll be completely mesmerized by its intricate architecture. I found my people, you guys. They're all under umbrellas. As soon as she's done, she's gonna run into the umbrella. That's right. Protect your skin, girl. 
With all the sightseeing and toasting in the sun, it was time to eat a big Italian lunch. We stumbled across this little restaurant and sat down to relax and enjoy life as Venetians do. I devoured this, I devoured that, I devoured that. And I'm still eating because it's that freaking good. After that delicious meal, we headed back to the hotel and I changed into my gondola outfit. I was really looking forward to this experience. You can't come to Venice and not ride a gondola. We are saving the best for last. We're about to get on a gondola. I'm so excited! I've never even been on a gondola in my life. There's tons of them in Vegas, but never had a desire to. So I can't believe it's going to be my first time on a gondola and it's going to be in Vegas. I mean, Venice. <laughs> I wanted a picture of a gelato cone right in that particular canal with a gondola in the background so I ran to go buy it and race back quickly before it all melted away. I'm just updating you on my bruise. It's gotten a lot worse as you can see the colors developed. We finally found our gondola. What's your name? Nicolo. Nicolo? Ciao. I'm Ciao. your gondoliere. <laughs> nice to meet you. Please watch your step. Step up on the blackboard okay. inside the boat. Thank you. Right. Riding on a gondola through the Venetian canals was definitely a memorable experience. Feelings of serenity will come over you while you're gliding through the tranquil waters and the tunes of Italian serenade from your personal gondolier will surely make you feel some type of way. It was inevitably romantic and the sun was even starting to set, which created an ambiance so perfect it could have been a chapter straight from an Italian love story. <laughs> I'm on a gondola in Venice. All I want you to say is ciao bella. Ciao bella, ciao belli. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Once finished with the gondola ride, it was dinner time. So back to the square we went in our water chariot. I still can't get over their means of transportation here. It's so cool to boat around the city. really cool boat ride. I really wish I had one of those. I would just take it everywhere. It wasn't that long of a ride unfortunately. It was literally across the street. But anyway, we're here at the square now and we're gonna get some pizza. Last night here, so we're just gonna end it with pizza! Nom 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 nom. I'm excited. I'd like to stay. I'm posted. Get it? For a while, it's dark inside. Safe to hide. Close your eyes with you by my side. I'm kind of sad to say goodbye to Venice, but every good thing must come to an end, as they say. But I don't believe in that. We're just here at Russo Pomodoro. It was recommended by the concierge. Ordered the pizza and the fish of the day, so I'm pretty really excited to try it. With you by my side. Hey guys, want to hear a joke about pizza? Nah, it's too cheesy. What better way to end the trip than with the most amazing pizza ever? We headed home and called it a night since we had an early flight out in the morning. I'm about to reenact what happened to me last night. I was sleeping, minding my own business, and I got thirsty, so I got up and I walked to get water. And then I fell. I hit the suitcase, then it toppled over, flat on the ground, laid out. There's a huge step right here. Huge. See? Do you see that? 
3 o'clock in the morning. Who's gonna remember there's a huge step right there? Ruse update. It's now black. And by the way, I went downstairs and asked him, Hey, listen, I got a big old bruise because I fell on your step. He's like, oh, sorry. Can I get an ice cream for free or something around here? Our farewell breakfast on the waters and it was time to say ciao to Venezia. I think I must have gained 10 pounds in the last few days because all I did was eat. But how can you resist such amazing food? Today's the last day and I'm really, really sad. I'm crying inside really hard. I just can't get over this view. Soaking in the moment for now. magical couple days here. Venice is gorgeous. It's so, so beautiful and romantic. There's just something about the water that just puts you in that mood. Just enjoying our last meal and we're gonna head to the airport, but it's just been such a dream here and I would definitely recommend you guys coming to visit. There's no place like Venice on Earth. waiting for our taxi and they're gonna head to the airport and that's it. Love you Venice. I have a bruise update for you guys. The color is now purple developed into green a little bit. Got my Venice souvenir. <laughs> Venice was pure magic and I'm glad I got to experience the city before it sinks away. Not very certain of that rumor, but nonetheless, I'm happy to say that I've been there. There's no place like Venice, the floating city. It's full of enchantment and the waters will leave you dazed and hypnotized. A city abundant in romance and love fills the air. Definitely worth checking out and adding to your bucket list. Until next time, ti amo Venezia. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey. I hope you liked this travel episode, Venice edition. Be sure to give me a thumbs up if you did. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, make sure to do so. I've got plenty more travel videos coming up. I always enjoy getting emails, comments, and photos from you guys on your expeditions. And I love that we're able to inspire each other to travel the world. Love you guys. See you on my next destination. Bye.